Hi everyone, welcome to the Makeup Chair. So today I have some new products that I picked up. So this is sort of like a what's in the drugstore kind of thing. And I love these. These are a few new things and a few things that have been out for a while but I've just been dying to try them. Start off with MUA stuff. Now you can't get MUA makeup Makeup Academy is what it is. MUA stuff is usually just an, an English brand, but they ha do have a website now, and I will link it in the down bar. I know my friend Nina picked up a load of stuff off their website, and I'm super excited to kind of see what she has kind of reviewed and stuff. I love this one. She did a review on this, and I thought it was amazing. This is the Undressed Me, or Undressed Palette, and this is very similar to the Naked, I can't open it, to the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. It's basically a complete and utter dupe for it. The eyeshadows are even kind of in the same um, layout, like the rows <laughs> are kind of in the same one. It's really cool. Um, and they have shade 1, 2, 12, so there's 12 shades in here. And these are a perfect kind of neutral shade. I love them, they're incredibly pigmented. I mean incredibly pigmented. You probably can't get more pigmented than this. They don't go everywhere, they're silky soft, really easy to use, and I love this. I think it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend MUA stuff anyway, but this palette is definitely becoming one of my favourite palettes of all time. I have a few single eyeshadows by them. These are a little bit bigger than say MAC ones, so you get kind of more spread out product. And I have a few of these just sitting in my drawer, but I really, really needed this. This is the perfect mid-tone, and someone suggested that I get this. Now, I remember your username for such a long time, and I actually had it on my computer because I wanted to thank you when I eventually got it, but um, I deleted it and I forgot it, so I'm, I'm terrible. But you told me to get shade number 17, matte, by MUA, and I got it and it's awesome so thank you very much. This is the perfect mid-tone. It's sort of like a yellowy beige color. Perfect for blending out any of your eyeshadows. If you're going for a neutral look or anything like that, it's just beautiful. Um, I love their single eyeshadow. I also picked up one of their lipsticks. Now this is so awesome because you look at it and you think, oh, there's the color and then here's the lipstick. But what you don't know is you twist this like this and you have exactly the same color in kind of a lip balm form right in here. So this is so cool. Every lipstick in the world should do this because what is really handy is that eventually you're going to run out of this but you're going to know that you have some in the bottom that you can you know use afterwards and what I love about these lipsticks is actually what I have on right now. They are like pure silk on your lips. They're quite sheer so that they're not going to be like super pigmented or anything but they are so silky soft. It's like Oh, it's just pure silk on your lips. So I love this so much. It's very kind of a sheer color. This is shade number four. And I think it's like a bubblegum girly pink. But it looks very natural on the lips. Moving on to Sleek. Now, I didn't buy one of their Sleek um, eyeshadow palettes because they didn't have the neutral one that I wanted. It was out of stock. So I picked up one of their Conceal and Correct palettes. I love these. These are very, very similar to the Bobbi Brown kind of palettes that they have out. Because what it has is two cream two cream here and then a powder form so that you can apply it and set it. So it's really, really handy to have. And these colors, and they have, I think, three different um, ranges. This is shade number two. They actually start at shade number two and then they work up. I don't know why. I haven't seen shade number one, but I could be totally wrong. But this is really, really light, even for my skin, so it definitely works. This one here has like a yellow tone to it. This one here is a pink, and then this has, well, this has an orange tone to it, and then this has yellow. So the great thing about this is that if you have under eye circles, apply a little bit of this, and that will neutralize the color. Then pop this over the top, and that will just kind of help it blend back into your face, because there's nothing worse than putting like a yellow kind of orange concealer underneath your eyes and then just having kind of sealer orangeness underneath your eyes. Pop this on top and it'll neutralize it and it'll just blend it back in the face but it'll definitely cover up any of those kind of um, discoloration underneath your eyes and any of that bluish tone or purplish tone underneath the eyes. If you do have any blemishes this also works because this is a kind of a a mixture of these two colors work to kind of seal that in and then putting the yellow over the top will neutralize any of the redness in spots so this is a perfect palette I absolutely love it and if you do want me to do a review on this or show you how to use it to cover up blemishes or under eyes then just tell me 
The second I walked in the door, the guy that worked in Superdrug came up with me with this, came up to me with this, and I was kind of like, oh my god, I seriously have wanted this for such a long time, I just haven't managed to pick it up yet. So it was kind of a good reminder, but he was like trying to sell me and Sarah like a bunch of stuff. But anyway, we just picked up this one, and this is the Waterproof Ro Rocket Volume by Maybelline. Now, you guys know, if you watch my videos a lot, that I love Maybelline one by one mascara. I don't know if I have it, I do. Right here. This is it here. I love this one. However, they are kind of discontinuing this. It's pretty difficult to find, but I'm pretty sure that they have updated it to this because the packaging is very similar. The um, kind of the brush and everything is pretty similar, but I think this is kind of like an upgrade. It's so much better uh, from what I've heard anyway. I haven't even opened this yet, but I am going to do a review and a comparison between the two. So definitely check out my blog because I'm going to have that hopefully coming up soon. But I'm super excited about this because it has Jet Glide Brush. I'm not sure what that means, but it's a no clump um, volumizing formula, so perfect for separating the lashes and adding volume, and it's a waterproof, so I love So that. if you have watched my benefit videos, which you can see here, we actually, me and Sarah went to London at the weekend, so you can check out benefit, you can check out our blog, and you can check out our kind of shopping blog. We actually didn't show you guys us shopping because we ran out of um, card thing but anyway it was a bit of a disaster we, we got lost but anyway when I went to benefit I got a few benefit goodies and I actually just love the bag look how pretty this bag is it's a little bit more peach than it's showing up on camera on camera it looks red but it's peach and I, I just want to keep the bag anyway they were so nice in this Bitsfield um, benefit boutique that they gave us a few goodies so it was really sweet we got this beautiful makeup bag and this is the professional um, makeup bag so you have the little woman on it and she's a professional on everybody and this is the ray gun kind of on the back but I love this I think it's so cute I love the color it's kind of becoming one of my new favorite colors I love this kind of um, what do you call it like light teal kind of I think there's a color is it teal maybe it's not I don't know I'm really liking this color at the moment they also gave us this which I think is so pretty and I love these so much these are the uh, kind of, what do you call them, like sleep mask thing, but it says beautification in progress and it has the benefit thing and it's the benefit colours, so I love it. And I actually sleep with one of these on, I'm not going to put it on actually because my hair got wrecked, but um, I sleep with one of these on because I have this thing with lighting. As soon as the sun is up, I'm awake and it kind of bugs me sometimes. Um, and what else did we get? We also got this, which is the Bad Curl Little Mini Lash um, Mascara. Now I actually have one of these, but mine has run out, so I'm happy to have one of these again. These are really awesome for your handbag, you know, for like topping up during the day. So, love it. Now we're going to move on to the stuff that I picked up when I was here yesterday. Me and my sister and my brother, actually, because he came over for a while. We actually went and did a bit of shopping yesterday, so. This is what I picked up. Ta-da! I have wanted these for absolutely ages and yesterday we went to Tralee which was a bit of a drive but we went to Tralee and we went to um, CH Chemist and that is hopefully where I'm going to be doing like some work with blank canvas but I'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, I tweeted a picture of the blank canvas brushes because they are available in Tralee in that shop because it's the best shop ever. You could literally spend the entire day in there but when I was in there I found these and I've wanted these forever. These are the Sleep In Rollers. Now, I use rollers a lot. I didn't actually use them today, but I use rollers a lot. And these are the Sleep In ones because I usually have an awful trouble trying to sleep with my rollers in. It's just impossible. So I love these ones. What these are like are these are spongy. So they're really comfortable to sleep in. And I haven't actually tried them yet, but I've heard a lot of people say that they're, like, you know, awesome. So I can't wait to try them. These were $11.49. And I, you have one, two, four, six, eight, ten. Get ten rollers, and they're kind of the big ones, so perfect for adding lots and lots of volume. And then we also got this, and this was kind of like a separate thing. Ooh, check it out. Anyway, like this. Basically, this is a hood. Okay, so you have your rollers on. You put the hood over. You tighten it because it has this little tight thing, and then you pop your hair dryer in here, and it will just kind of set your hair. It's so cool. So you put the rollers in when your hair's wet. You pop the hood on, and then you just put your hair dryer in here. And this was, I think this was 20-something. Hold on. And then things come up. I think this was 28 or 27. 
and I love it because me and my sister have wanted one of these for such a long time. So I'll show you guys how to use this in another video if you'd like to see what it's like and all that kind of stuff and how to use one of these. But I'm so excited, I can't wait to try it. The final it. thing that I picked up was from TK Maxx. TK Maxx. And, okay, I tried this dress on as just a joke. Like, this was literally just because me and my sister were like, oh, let's try on dresses. And then I didn't want to take it off because I love this dress so much. I just need to find somewhere to wear it to. It reminds me of almost like a Chanel dress. I don't know why, but it just does. But I love it. It's this black full length dress and it has kind of a swoop neckline. So it's like that. It has all this ruching at the front so it makes you look super thin and it kind of cinches in your waist. And it's a full length as well. And it's the perfect length for me. So I am super excited about it. I will try and find the name of it if you want to pick this up because this is actually an American brand but it doesn't have it it says made in the US and it is N Y or N W Nightway so that is the brand um, and I got it in size 8 which is a really really good decent size that they have and it was $46.99 so um, yeah I love it I just I love this dress I'm, I'm completely and utterly in love with it I just, I, I can't wait to wear it somewhere, so, yeah, um, I love it, I can't, I just, I just need to find somewhere to wear it to. So that's everything that I picked up when I have done a few days of shopping, I need to stop now, stop for a long time, and I will see you guys in my next video, sorry about my voice, I'm a bit croaky at the moment, um, but I will see you guys in my next video, and if you would like to check out these videos here of our trip to London, I will link them also in the down bar, but you can actually click on them. You can just click on them there. Um, but you can also check out Sarah's one, which I will link in the down bar. She also has a haul video about some things that she picked up. Check out hers because she picked up some really awesome things. I have to be totally jealous of the things that she picked up. I should have picked up more stuff. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.